<laughs> Love, peace, and soul, everybody. <laughs> this Empress Gem. Just wanted to lay down a quick chronicles about my day. Go ahead, go play. Okay. Say bye bye. Um, guys, we are. I'm here underneath the light of the Sagittarius full moon. It's hot. I'm like, we ain't ready to go upstairs just, just, just yet. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I am definitely a moon child. You know, being born um during the full moon phase, and. So, you know, I really get invigorated when it's any sign of any sign. I notice any full moon of any sign, right? Definitely a kick off of the summer weekend, hot and humid. Love it, you know. Um, hate it, hate the frizz, but it's all good. <laughs> It's just no, letting you know, like, you know, you got to be in your natural state. You know what I'm saying? You can't have, I don't know how someone be having 50 pounds of makeup on in this weather. All right. But it definitely, you know, humbles you and makes you, you have to be down to your bare necessities. Like, you don't, you know, it's like the full card. You know what I mean? Hi, boo. Say bye. Say hi. <laughs> Go play, see? You wanted me to stay out. You the one that wanted me to stay outside. It was you. Yeah, so I had a wonderful day today. Um, and I'm realizing, I'm like, yeah, full circle. You know, um, our fam my family of origin, we got together to visit our 89-year-old grand aunt. And, um, yo, she doing better than me. She got her man, her 90-year-old man was in there. Listen, to my dad, there go my pickup truck right there in the parking lot. Listen, you hear me? Moments like that really make you have gratitude for everything that you have been blessed with. It also, you know, moments like that, you know, love heals all wounds. You know what I mean? Any grudges, any, um, you know, being humbled and seeing four generations of your family come together. You know, it's really a blessing. It's really a blessing because a lot of people don't have that. And it makes you be appreciative for the things that you have, you know. And, um, what, Sakaya, what are you doing? You see his, yeah, but you see his mother's calling him. Right, go ahead, go play. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so, you know, it really makes you grateful, you know, for the things that you have. And then to see, you know, yourself, to see yourself, you know, within your family, no matter what, that's still your family. Yeah, you may have a spiritual family, but that's still your blood. That's still, you know, ancestral ties. Those ties, you know, don't end with death. You don't. So, they, they're your spiritual family as well, okay? You know? Um, yeah, your family of origin is also your spiritual family too. When you check it. Maybe not every single member, but they are. They are the ancestors. They turn into the ancestors when they cross over, right? And there's still a connection. You can still contact them. They still, you know, um, communicate, right? And um, it was wonderful. Like I said, it just was wonderful. Today was just a wonderful day. I'm just giving thanks. And I wanted to, you know, just share, um, you know, this feeling. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, like I said, love heals all wounds. You know, like no matter what you may have gone through with your family of origin or how you feel like you were failed or maybe you have failed your family, you know, um, like I said, moments like that when you come together. If we go, then we all gonna go upstairs. Go. <laughs> see your children's delight when they see, cause they see themselves too. When they see their family, they get to see a part of themselves, you know? 
um oh yeah it's very humbling and you know even if you having like baby mother issues baby father issues as well it made me think about that too because you know they want to know they would they want to know all parts of themselves even if i mean if if there's a da dangerous situation then i would not you know tell anyone to put themselves in a in a dangerous situation but if things can be worked out if pride could be put aside if um you know differences could be worked out that my joint is all frizzed out oh my god <laughs> it's all good like i said this heat is healthy it's purging fire energy is purging sagittarius full moon is sagittarius okay it's definitely a, pur a purge right in time you know for the summer to bring in the summer right to get that full illumination of the sun getting towards that you know the longest day of the year and um it was just wonderful and feeling very it brought back so many memories so much nostalgia um of my childhood and then seeing like I said, it was my grand, we were um, visiting my grand aunt. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm a grand aunt. <laughs> and seeing my niece and how she's just like my grand niece and seeing how she's just like her mother too. It was just so beautiful. Um, wonderful. You know what I mean? So it's like, sometimes you gotta just change that perspective um, I feel like this full moon in Sagittarius is, um, you know, in, it's, it's expansive energy. Remember, it's, it's, it resonates with Jupiter, which is expansion, okay? Which is, you know, positive energy, right? Exploring different... Um, fields of spirituality and then I and then I, I met a cousin and she's all like oh you went to crystals you bought crystals girl this that and the third yo I was like wow and she's a tourist so I was like that just made my day I was like wow you know when you feel like you're the black sheep of the family and then you know you're able to see again like I said to be able to see yourself within your family within your origins of family when you feeling like you was the odd man out for how many years you know what i mean and then now it's like wow i got a cuz i right, we gonna link you know what i'm saying oh you do tarot too i do tarot too you a tourist too it's like ah cuz cuz love <laughs> you know what i mean um and you know that brought a smile to my face you know what i'm saying to see how times have changed as well you know what i mean like wow to see my uncle with his hebrew israelite sash so i'm like wow you know what i mean like we came a long way a lot of us are really coming into our into our spirituality as well searching for our spiritual path as well you know that's sagittarius too you know the the philosophy of the origins of life what what y'all over there wilding no, All right, I think it's time to go upstairs. I just wanted to keep this Empress on Chronicles a little short. We out here getting a little fresh night air underneath the luminescent Sagittarius full moon that's coming up. It's not a Sagittarius yet, but like I said, I feel it. I'll be feeling the energies from yo at least a week before, at least. So. I feel it burning ever brighter. And um, I just hope that y'all had a good holiday week. Have a good holiday weekend as well. The weekend is not over. So there's going to be more festivities for us um, coming up tomorrow. And Monday we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? So love, peace, happiness, and joy to your soul, everyone enjoy and I'll see you later.